In today's video, I'm going to explain how pen settings work with AutoCAD layers. Today, we're going to be discussing primarily a CTB file, okay? Because uh, I talk to people a lot and they don't understand why some layer colors have certain color, you know, why layers have certain colors to them. So um, you don't just randomly pick colors for layers. There's a reason why layers colors exist. So on my screen, I have 10 layers, 10 color, 10 lines with 10 layers. Layer number one is color number one, red. Two is yellow, green, uh, green, cyan, blue, magenta, so on and so on. Okay. So one through nine and oh, so one, one through 10 are the colors I'm going to be talking about. Okay. Well, when I go to plot, okay, and I go choose the, I've got a pen setting that I'm using that I use when I teach a class. So I call it the class CTB. That's fine. In this class pen setting, okay, I have certain colors here. So there's different pen settings. You can have different pen settings for different clients or for whatever reason, but the one that ships with the software by default is this ACAD CTB file. And if I go and I say, you know, let me do my DWG to PDF, you know, by 11 center, we'll do the extents. And if I go look at the preview here, you will see that with this CTB file, Red comes out as red, yellow comes out as yellow, and this is what will be sent to the printer. Okay, let me show you why that is doing that. Okay, so if I look at the ACAD CTB file and I go modify it right here with this button, I go edit, then this pops up on my screen. Let me change the size here because it's, it's on my screen over here. There we go. This pops up on my screen. Now there's there's two views. There's a table view and the form view. They both do the exact same thing. I prefer the table view. Okay. So when I see when when I see when the software sees color number one, which is red, it's going to print it using the object color, okay, and it's going to also print it using the object line weight. So red will be red, yellow will be yellow, green will be green, and so on and so on and so on. And that is why when I use this ACAD CTB pen setting and I go preview, I get the colors, okay. Now, there's another one here that a lot of people try to use, and I get a call on this one. It's the monochrome. In the monochrome pen setting, this one is set to say, and let me bring this over here again. Don't know why it's jumping on my other screen. Sorry about that. This one is set to say, when you see color number one, print it black. Color number two, print it black. Color three, print black. Four, all 255 colors inside of AutoCAD will be black okay and that's fine but they're also all going to be the same line weight so if i say let's just say it uh save and close sure let's go preview everything is black and everything is the same line weight okay so what i've done here is i've created my own now this isn't the a CTB file that I would recommend for everyone. This is just a CTB file that I do for this particular example. Okay, and in this CTB file, I'm gonna go and take a look at my table view. Of course, what I've done is said color number one will be black and it'll be zero millimeters thick. Color number two, when a layer is set to be yellow, all the line work will be black and be 0.15 millimeters thick. When a layer is set to be green, it'll be black and 0.3. And these numbers that I picked are just random. But if you can see, any layer that is set to be white will have my thickest line type. Then I have color number eight and nine, which I'm saying use the object color because they're shades of gray. And I can still use color because see, if I want to have something pop in on my screen as red, I'm going to say make that layer color number 10 because I'm going to say use the object color. So let's take a look at what that's going to look like. So as you can see, color number one is my thinnest color. Color number seven is my thickest color, and they're all black and white. But color number eight is a shade of gray. Color number nine is a lighter shade of gray. And color number 10 prints as 10, a shade of red. Okay. So now let's look at this in, in an example that makes sense, you know, in an everyday example that we would use. I have a house drawing right here. Okay. And let's just say I want to... I want to use my pen setting to call attention to certain things. Right now, 
if I look at this and I say plot and I go set my DWG to PDF, you know, by 11, just for example, we'll do extents, we'll send to the plot. I'm going to go ahead and do my class CTV file. Okay, now this hasn't changed. It's still using the same settings, which is basically 1 through 10 with the thickness accordingly. Okay, so I'm going to go preview that and I'm going to see that my walls are too thick because color number seven is my thickest line. Okay, so if I don't want to call attention to my walls like that, I can probably change the color. So now I'm going to go and I'm going to, let me hit uh, cancel, uh, so apply to layout and hit cancel for now. So I'm going to change my layer color. Let's go to layer. And let's just say I want my walls. Instead of making them white, let's make them a little bit thinner. Let's make them yellow because yellow is thinner than white, but thicker than red. And hit OK. And then I'm going to come over here and let's go ahead. So now yellow walls will print looking like that. So my walls are now thinner. Okay. I have a white line on here for my area. So I'm going to go ahead and freeze that layer. There is a white line. I'm going to take a look at that white line. It should follow like right there. You see that white line right there? It goes all the way around. It's, it's used to calculate the area. I'm going to freeze that area layer. Okay. And um, I want my, I want actually, let's, let's take it a step further. I want my walls to be shaded back and I want to call attention to my doors. Okay. So let's go to my layers. I want my walls. I'm going to have them set to be color number nine. Okay. And I want to have my doors for argument's sake. We'll make them uh, green's okay. Yeah. Green's okay. Cause green's going to be thick. And let's see, what else do I have? I have a fireplace. Fireplace might be a little too, too thick on the blue side. So let's make that cyan. Okay. That's good for now. So now, come on. Okay, there we go. And now my fireplace is cyan. My walls are gray and my doors and windows are, are uh, green. So when I go to plot, and I go to preview, you can see my walls are now grayed out. So the color correlates to the CTB file. Okay. So this is how a lot of people that I deal with use pen settings because this is what di uh, di uh, differentiates how some things stand out. So if my text is too thick, I will change that color of the text layer. So let's come over here and let's change the color of the text layer. So it's uh, room names, room info, room names, and text. They're all cyan. I'm going to go ahead and make them red because red is my thinnest color. So now when I look at that, all my text is red. And when I go to plot and do the plot preview, my text looks as so. Okay. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions, let me know. But this, this should uh, help make, make it a little bit easier to understand how pen settings and layers work hand-in-hand hand with each other. Alrighty, have a good day.